Hey everyone, it's Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> on Monday, or was it Tuesday? I was gonna, you know, as usual, um, record my reaction to Attack on Titan and then put it on my channel. So I was sitting there with my camera running, watching AOT, and I get up after it to turn the camera off, and then I realize that it had turned off by itself somewhere in between the whole reaction. So this is my way of explaining to you guys why I don't have an Attack on Titans reaction for the last episode. I am so sorry. It's uh, uh, anyway. All right, uh, that out of the way, um, welcome back to my channel guys. So today we're gonna react to um, Boku no Hero Academia, the last episode of season three. It's been a crazy ride so far. It's been a wonderful season. I, I was actually reading a couple of reviews from uh, the season where, you know, I just wanted to see what people thought because I genuinely have been so impressed with the consistency of the anime throughout the seasons. Like when I first, you know, the first season really blew me away, and I immediately was, you know, worried that the next seasons are not gonna live up to my expectations because the first season really did set a high expectation for it. But they've really met it so far. I have not, in any occasion being disappointed with the way that they've shown um, of, the, of the way that they've adapted the manga and in case there are some you know small changes uh, for example overhauls hairline <laughs> I found that so funny like I didn't even notice it I I thought over overhaul looks really hot and you know yeah and I mean it doesn't even matter what he looks like because it's about it's a, it's his personality you know that makes you want to hate him later right that that makes you sh that, that makes you see that he's a villain so i was just happy to see overhaul uh, overhaul and i thought he looked hot but then i was reading people going like oh my gosh can't clean bones would do this and this and that and i, and I found and i found it really funny uh, but yeah and i saw a few people also saying how this season is kind of slow because there wasn't too much happening like there was a lot of action happening and I'm like did we watch the same season because I mean you have we've had multiple fight sequences this season all of which have been amazing all of which have just yeah they've exceeded my expectations they've the way that they managed to intertwine emotions into each and every one of those fight sequences oh my gosh I so whoever is writing these reviews, seriously, wh what season did you guys watch? Because I'm confused. <laughs> um, but other than that, I have to say it because I'm so biased towards the anime, I don't have like constructive criticism as such because um, the kind of slight changes that they've made from the manga uh, for the anime, I, I've like approved of all those changes i didn't think that it took something away from the manga i remember the only time i almost felt like that was the time when bakugo was getting kidnapped and you know he the, his voice actor maybe he wasn't told before or something but it made it sound like he was worried for deku which i was like oh no 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 <laughs> that's that's not what's happening and then they corrected it in the next episode of course and then you also see the characters talking about it so it, it, it is cleared out but I remember at that moment I was like what are they doing and why are they changing that because this completely changes the dynamics between Bakugo and Deku and yeah we're not there yet so no um, yeah but then I realized like I just jumped conclusions a bit too quickly maybe or whatever but yeah so I've so far enjoyed it really uh, a lot um, and having said that I'm happy to say that now we know that Book of Academia Season 4 is gonna be coming. I don't know when, but I just read the news. Was it today morning? I think so. But I, I did read it, so I'm really glad that we're getting the next season because, oh my gosh, the next arc is one of the 
most exciting and I think we'll get a glimpse of it in this episode um, yeah but I'm going to miss watching Boku no Hero every Saturday and I am definitely gonna miss reacting to it because this is the anime that introduced me to all of you guys who are watching me right now and I'm and I'm gonna be sad that it's it's yeah so anyway I'll still be around I'll still be doing reactions so I hope you guys stick around for that okay yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> Still can't believe they're discriminating against Bakugo like that. Look at them. <laughs> so was like, I know him. Fanboying as always. Do, do now, it's my life, my only. Unrivaled. I can't believe it's the finale already. Video. It really gives me the creeps. <laughs> oh, you'll find our soon, kid. Oh my...
wonder why that is. Look at him though. Like his body and his face are just so different. Look at all that shading. That's like it's such a good point that you know he'll earn their respect that way. It's so much easier to prove to them that hey, we're the big three once they've fought him. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, they already have like a close combat team? Oh, these kids. Okay, but like, how would you fight this naked dude? Oh, the poor kids. Oh, babies. Oh, poor kids. Okay, but the body is unfair.
it just looks like it's yeah Two down, three down. Oh, all my babies. Oof. <laughs> Poor baby. But at least now they know not to mess with him. <laughs> Honey, you don't have a notebook. <laughs> Anything and everything. I see him and then I just remember Tintin. I just, I can't. Oh, he must have put so much work into it. my gosh the kind of the kind of mental strength that he has to have for that the kind of training he has to do exactly i get all the scars on it
So inspiring. <laughs> I was just thinking right now. <laughs> what you're capable of, sweetie, you're capable of. Exactly. And he always has a smile. He's so passionate. It's inspiring. I love Momo with her hair down. She always looks so pretty. Because they're first years. Well, okay.
twice. Oh, I love him. So sad. Look at his pretty eyes. Look, look at his lashes, like. check if there's end credits or something what is this okay about this episode talk about how I feel about Mario or about overhaul or I, I just I can't talk about anyone without giving away spoilers from the manga so I'm just gonna refrain uh, myself from doing it but um, it's it's just I mean I think like we already now see that Mario has been introduced as this guy who maybe kind of uh, I really can't say anything ah! <laughs> okay 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 anyway I really liked the episode because we got a glimpse into the characters um, and because all these characters are gonna play really like important roles in the next season so I'm glad we got a glimpse into it I wish we had um, gotten a bit more of context and background for um, overhaul and the League of Villains scene, I wish we had got a bit more of that, but it's, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay with this, like, I can wait until, okay, that's not true, I can't wait, I'm just gonna reread the manga, that's it, but, um, it was really nice to see how, uh, you know, Mirio, he inspired the first years by showing that it's experience that's important and showing the value of hard work, like, you can be you know the person with the strongest quirk sure but if you don't know how to use it if you don't train yourself to use it to the best of your abilities then there's no point right um, and in some ways I think like it's a it's a good parallel to not it's not parallel maybe um, it's in parallel but also a bit opposite I would say to Deku's case where he is someone who is working hard also because he just received his quirk, you know, he knows the importance of it. Um, and yeah, so, so so to him it makes sense to work on it, right? I mean, of course, everybody else who already has a quirk is also working hard, but with Mirio's quirk, it's something that, that's taken him, him a long time to work with because it's potentially even harmful to himself, but he's made it into his greatest strength simply through his hard work. And that is different because Mirio is someone who's maybe born with a quirk that was so difficult to handle, but he is doing it with his hard work. On the other hand, Deku is someone who didn't have a quirk, but he's working with it now and he's putting in all, all his hard work. So I kind of see them kind of like going parallel, but also opposite. Like they maybe in ways mirror each other, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm. Uh, 
I wish, I wish we could have the fourth season as soon as possible, but yeah, we'd have to wait a bit. Anyway, this was so exciting and uh, I loved the episode. Ah, yeah. Thank you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me um, for the season of Boku no Hero Academia. I will definitely be around. Um, I might take a short break next month like I told you already. But if things work out, I still might be updating you guys with AOT reactions. Um, but I might not do full, like I might not start a new reaction until I have like my life settled in a way. Um, but thank you so much. I hope you guys have had a wonderful yeah, run with me um, during the season. And um, let's all wait for the next season. That's it. Wait together. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye.